Hello Providence College hockey fans, welcome to This Week in Friars Hockey presented by Dunkin Donuts. Filling in for Nick Rojas this week, I'm KJ Hammond. The Friars had their win streak snapped in South Bend, but they were able to muster up one point from the series, tying 3-3 on Saturday against Notre Dame. Providence will now look to get back on the winning side of things when they have their final home and home series this weekend against University of Massachusetts. In this week's edition, Nick Rojas caught up with Coach Lehman to talk about that final home game of the regular season. Let's start the show. Providence College Friars, Notre Dame Fighting Irish, a matchup of top 20 on primetime TV. The Friars looking for their 10th straight win, similar to last season, picking things up in the first. It's Jack Jenkins with a nice feed from Andrew Ogilvie. That puts Notre Dame up 1-0, but then it's Anthony Florentino doing damage all by himself. Florentino's ninth goal of the season, fourth goal in four games. Get another look at it as Friars tie it 1-1. And that'll be it for the Friars. Kyle Burke, the goal of the Tori Dello assist. Irish regain the lead 2-1. And here comes Anders Bjork right down the middle like lightning. He gets to the front of the net, puts it past Hayden Hockey right into the crossbar. He also scores another goal just three minutes after this. Notre Dame takes it 4-1. All right, Friars take an L on night one. Can they bounce back on night two? Shane Kavanaugh, the one-timer off the Robbie Hennessy assist. It's Kavanaugh's first goal since October 22nd. PC leads 1-0, but this game was all about responding. Get this, Notre Dame. Right down the middle is Bobby Nordella, the sophomore blue liner. He walks it in on the power play. They tie it at one apiece. Here comes Brian Pino now. No. Nico Rufo, yes. He jams it in off the Brian Pino miss. Friars regain the lead. 2-1, but like I said, this game was all about responding. There's a miss right there, but here's Honest Bjork looking, looking, finding. It's Jake Evans. The nifty feed by Bjork puts Jake Evans in the perfect position. Notre Dame ties it at 2 before the period closes. Third period now. It's Eric Foley barreling down the right wing. He scores his 14th goal of the season. Friars take the lead 3-2, but just three minutes later, Notre Dame once again, the response. 3-3 is where the score will remain. Friars walk out of South Bend with one point. Joined now as we are every week with the head coach of the hockey team. Coach, how you doing? Good. Coach, two games against Notre Dame this past weekend. What were your big takeaways? Well, that was the, that was the, the toughest environment we played in this year, so that was really good for us um, to experience that. And hats off to Notre Dame for, for creating that environment. And, um, and it was good hockey. I thought it was playoff level hockey. Um, so that was our big takeaway is that we're going to have to improve a little bit to be successful in that type of environment and that level of hockey. Two games left now in the regular season. What are you getting, hoping to get the team focused on as, we, as they prepare for UMass? Just playing our best hockey. Worrying about us playing our best hockey right now. Um, you know, we played some really good games in the second half. Uh, we just need to make sure we're at that level all the time and, and, uh, and, and keep improving, keep growing. I think our power play has got to improve right now. All right, Coach, good luck this weekend. Thanks. For their final home and home series of the regular season, the Friars will take on University of Massachusetts this weekend. UMass, losers of their last 13 straight games, are just 525 and 2 on the year and ranked dead last in most Hockey East categories. Therefore, the theme of this weekend, take care of business. The Friars looking to hop into that four seed of the Hockey East standings in order to get a first round bye, and it can happen in one likely scenario. The Friars sweep this weekend and UMass Lowell drops one, which means the two teams swap positions in the Hockey East standings. I can't emphasize enough the importance of a first round bye in the grueling Hockey East playoffs. And that wraps up your final scouting report of the regular season. Thank you to our guest, Coach Lehman, for joining us on the show this week. Friday night's game starts at 7 p.m. It can be streamed at UMassAthletics.com. Saturday night's game starts at 7.05 p.m. That could also be caught on Cox, Your View, in Rhode Island. Don't forget you can also stream both games at Friars All Access and listen along at 12.40 a.m. W-O-O-N. And also follow Friars Hockey on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram as we head into the postseason. Thanks so much for watching This Week in Friars Hockey presented by Dunkin' Donuts. Have a great day.